We were lucky enough to book with Snowy Owl Tours, which is one of the only companies that actually lets you drive the sled yourself. Big, big bucket list item today. Going dog sledding in the snow with real dogs. So we have the green bandana. Okay, they're gonna jump on you, kiss you in the face without any consent. Okay. <laughs> you're ready to hug them back. Let's go see the dogs. We're looking for green bandanas because they're super friendly and jump all over you. Love you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Bless you. Yes. Also, this is your team. Um, so we have in the lead, we have Chevelle. She's on the right. Okay. And her mom, Herida. Oh, we have Aww. mom and daughter today. After a brief training, we got to jump on the sled to lead our team. Okay, I think it's go time. I think we're getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. Are you ready? Yes. I don't know if you can hear that, but yes. These dogs are amped. This is nuts. Are you so happy? Pretty happy. Are you I'm, a, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Just about the stopping. And about the going lightning fast because they're so excited. Nate is legitimately driving her sled. He is a musher and I'm all cozy up in here. I got blankets on me and everything. They're ready. We have Chevelle and Beretta as our lead dogs. You gotta remember their names. I didn't say anything. Look at them. Good job, Chevelle Beretta. Good job, guys. Good job, you guys, guys are doing so good. Oh my I God. literally couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. This is so cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, my face is so cold. Good job, guys. supposed to stop every time they go to the bathroom and they'll just start going so we're trying to keep pace with them I think every single one has gone number one and number two so far and we've been in five minutes <laughs> they are so cute though we have a team of five I was like focusing on this so we're riding on a boardwalk area right now, which is kind of paved out for us, but it's really deep and really soft on either side. So Nate's trying to balance on either side in order to stay right in the middle. And we're going pretty slow, so we also have to keep an eye in front of us to make sure we don't run into the next people. It is so gorgeous. Yeah. have not said hike once and we are moving. <laughs> they are just so ready to go. So much faster than me. <laughs> Good job. Wow. Oh, whoa. What? Oh my gosh. Are we on a lake? Yes. Here, grab my arm. Oh, One, two, three. Nice. Switching drivers or mushers, the dogs are ready. <laughs> oh gosh, we're going across the lake first. It should be a little easier the second half and Nate is the princess in the sled. The moment I've Girls. always waited for. Look at how ready they are. Yep. They are ready. Hike! 
During our break, we learned that we have some pretty famous dogs on our sled. Yeah, we do. Mr. Sphinx yeah. and our two lead dogs were in a documentary, I think, called Togo. No, I think it was acting. Oh, it's acting? Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Sphinx and our lead dogs were actually in a movie called Togo. When all along, what he lived for. was me. I got it, Togo! Okay, we're coming to a big part. It is the turn Jeez. to the right. <laughs> wow, that turn was fun! <laughs> you say G and they're like, whoop! <laughs> Look at this musher. <laughs> She's doing so good. Good job. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good job, everyone. We're almost done. Are you excited to be back? We are back and normally you would just go right back to the office on the bus, but in the area they're doing some controlled blasting of avalanches, obviously so they don't have unexpected avalanches. So we have to wait because they're doing that right now and it impacts the road that we're on. So we get to actually hang out with the dogs a little bit longer and give them what they call soup. It's just basically warm water that they get when they return from the dog sledding and there's like some other nutrients and stuff in it. So. Honestly, any more time with these dogs is a huge bonus for me, so we're all for it. We're kind of glad they're doing this right now so we can stay longer. We really like our dogs. We're the last ones over there still petting them and giving them love. <laughs> Everyone else is by the fire drinking apple cider and some sweets. Truthfully, I'd just rather be by the dogs. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> but she even said that maybe she'll just bring a dog down there because she could tell we didn't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't get, how can you walk away from that? They're so cute. Very sadly, we are officially leaving. Very, very sadly. This was amazing. I don't want to leave. I don't either. Man, I'm glad it wasn't snowing while we were on the dog sleds, but it was such an amazing time with Snowy Owl Tours. This is not sponsored or partnership in any way. We just really love them. Everyone was so nice. Also, everyone in Canada is nice, though, so that might have something to do with it. <laughs> but for two people for a two-hour tour, we, we got to drive it ourselves. It was 551 Canadian dollars, so way more expensive than we normally do for something like this, but it was awesome. Totally, totally worth it. The dogs are so well taken care of. Everyone was so nice. And we got to drive the sleds. I was a musher. Mush. Hike. G, G, G. I'm pretty good, huh? Great. <laughs> Those were so out of sequence, it was unbelievable, but. <laughs> you don't shout mush also. That's just Hollywood. Ever. You're, you're, you are a musher, but you don't say mush ever. Yes. If you enjoyed dog sledding with us as much as we did, hit the like button below if you want to stamp your passports with us again. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Okay. <laughs>